And thank you, Lee. He cut a deal, escaped a life sentence, and now an innocent man is dead. James Hansen Jr., the suspect in Tuesday's deadly Valrico carjacking, had a violent past, and he dodged a life sentence by helping prosecutors. In on your sides, Melissa Marino is live at the Hillsborough County Jail to explain how this all happened. Hey there, Evan. So I can tell you right now, he is in the jail on multiple charges for that violent crime spree, including murder. But many are wondering how he was even out on the streets to begin with. We found these court documents, and in these, despite a life sentence, you can see right here, he was released on probation just a month ago. Now, just a month later, he is accused of taking the life of 68-year-old Matthew Coratiel after robbing a Valrico bank and carjacking the victim. Coratiel owned the Valrico food store for years, and he was a loved member of the community, a husband and a father. But Aid on Your Side has learned the suspect, James Hansen Jr., is a violent habitual offender who was sentenced to life in prison for robbing a bank back in 2002. In exchange for his testimony and helping prosecutors convict another criminal, we have learned the state agreed to dismiss his life sentence. Tampa attorney and legal expert Bryant Camarino, he is not involved in Hansen's case, but he did review this court file for us. It is very unusual, and I would imagine that it must have been a compelling reason for the state to come off of the life. The state attorney's office confirmed this happened, saying the hard reality of our criminal justice system is that sometimes prosecutors have to use the testimony of criminals to convict other criminals. Again, Hanson, back out here live, Hanson is currently in the Hillsborough County Jail on no bond. He's facing multiple charges, including kidnapping and murder. Melissa Marino, eight on your side.